All right, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Tower of God Season 2, Episode 3. In the last episode, uh, we had the kind of test to kind of basically show everybody's power level. Um, we obviously found out the person that I thought was Bam. I still think is Bam. Something's gone on there because this dude has memories that Bam, that are obviously from Bam's point of view. Um, but they're a person, they're a member of a group called Fog. Um, there's been obviously a time skip, so obviously a lot could have happened over the time. And the name is Viola. Um, I think it was Yeon or the one of the the, the girl from one of the ten families um, was a bit confused as to why they were sharing a room together. She thought that she was that he was uh, a female, which confused me for a minute. Um, but no, they just they just mixed the the genders of the room sharing apparently. So. Yeah, um, overall it was a good episode and I'm looking forward to this one as we're going to get presumably the test between uh, the love, the dude named Love, um, who's one of the examiner, and uh, Viola. So yeah, overall uh, looking forward to this episode. As always guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. What is this? Cards? Also, apparently, it was, like, left out of the episode for whatever reason. But this, like, love guy is, like, dumb, stupidly strong. Which I expected from all the examiners, to be fair. But it was, like, something crazy. Like, three million scores or something. <laughs> you, you refuse, yeah. He's gonna do it anyway. What do you want? Yes. Get the fuck out of here. He doesn't want shit from you. He literally does not want to see you at all. You're weak. Why would he care? Yeah, for real. And you're just supposed to be insulted by that? Like, oh no, my god, why would he not be interested in my body? What the hell? Yeah, they're just following anyway. She's built so weird. You're accepting candy from strangers? Reduce the number of unhappy children as possible. Someone who works at an orphanage, she has a lot of jewellery. I wonder if the thing about his daughter was actually true. Or if, at the very least, he has a daughter. <laughs> Bugger! <laughs> I mean, it's true. You shouldn't accept sweets from strangers. Does, like, does she even know how to play this card game? She's a child. What? Apparently she does. Damn, we didn't even get the card game arc. That's crazy. I like this little group. I don't think half of them are built for the tower, but I like them. <laughs> Please tell me you've got sleeping clothes and you're not sleeping in that. What the fuck is that? Rubber. Is it time for the test? Is a fire alarm? What's going on? Love is calling. Oh boy. Yeah, I was just about to go to sleep. Oh boy. The trustworthy room. Right. Oh Okay. Yeah, I, I makes sense so far, I think. So basically, one's got to stay, and then they've got to send someone out to go and take the other rooms. Oh, okay. So it's for him as well. Yeah, you're going to have to come take this shit from me? Oh, hell no. <laughs> that shit ain't happening. Could it... Could everybody just, like, voluntarily go into one room so they can all pass? You are a child. 
Okay, sure. Where could you possibly have hidden it, though? Bro, she, he will beat your ass. Get out of the way. What a shame. I mean, there's no way he wins here, so he'll have teammates eventually. What? He, what? Huh? Did he time stop? Or he just stops her. Okay. Bro pulled up. <laughs> That's funny. Does it just, are they just permanently frozen? What is this busted ass ability? Fucking Dio. Don't let this woman in. Yeah, in terms of, like, these two, I think Big Boy here would be better on defense. Do we, did we even see Greyhead, um, dude's power level in the last episode? I don't think we did. Or I might have, seen, like, briefly seen it on the scoreboard, but didn't notice. Oh god, is that woman in there? Are you allowed to break down the door? Is that a thing? <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. So she didn't open the door for that woman either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, but that was back then. That's changed now. You look mean. That's not very fair. Oh, now you want his help. To be a respectable person. If you if you get the chance to grow up at all, you ask my die in this tower. Go away, you freaky looking bitch. Yeah, well, you're gonna catch these hands. Oh, he tried to kill her. Exactly, the jewelry. Oh, damn, she stabbed her. Is your door just unlocked? Yeah, this would be the smart idea, wouldn't it? Just, like, getting all the, the friends on one team. I don't know what's, like, a red flag. Or, or like, a flag in this anime, a death flag. Um, cause like, I don't know, it's just, <laughs> just moments like this keep happening. Oh, we got unfrozen, okay. But then again, I say death flag and red flags, there are red flags in people in this anime as well, of course. Like Rachel. Dead? What? <laughs> this scary old man. I want to see what Viol's going on. Because he is reckless. <laughs> so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, I guess, for the big dude back in the room. He's actually dead. Or heavily injured. What the hell? Who did this? Who else is there? Who the hell is this? Who the hell is this? Who are you? Were you always here? Right. Okay. I suppose not, no. He does want to kill the people in charge of this whole thing. Oh, <laughs> what is this? Right, okay. Bro, bro's outfit's kind of drippy when he's sitting down like this. <laughs> when he doesn't look that much like an elementary school kid. 
How fast is this shit gonna go? Oh, he just time stopped that shit. Yeah! Bro. How was that a foul? You kicked it. He should have time stopped it when uh, it got like millimeters from his hand. Who the fuck are these dudes? Oh, he's actually trying to fight him here. <laughs> he time stopped his ass. Oh, damn. He took that shit head on. Damn. Yeah, the music. <laughs> it reminds me of the song from Blade. Is that what that's from? Right, so that was Tarot Guard Season 2, Episode 3. Uh, <clears throat> very good episode there. Uh, I, the the challenges I like like last season I feel um, do kind of go over your head sometimes because there's a lot of rules, um, but they're all not so much not so much actually lots of rules but more the way they explain it um, feels overly complicated. Um, but uh, yeah, again, it's probably just one of those things where it's like it's easier to read it like in manga or light novel or whatever um, as opposed to kind of seeing it come up as subtitles. And it changes every line, you know, on screen. Um, but yeah, good episode. Uh, seems interesting. Seems like the whole squad can pass here. Um, as long as Viola fails. Uh, or admits defeat, even. Um, but yeah, we'll see what's going to happen. Um, I wonder who killed this the dude with the black and blonde hair. And th then these two random people are. Like, one of them looks like fucking Cleekly, or whatever his name is, from Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> um, so yeah. Overall, a very good episode. Definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction. Have an interesting day, and peace out.